Tushar, the logic is in Bengal, for example, irrespective of whether Mamta Banerjee wins or left wins or Congress wins, all those seats go into the India Alliance kitty. So, Zaka, the logic is that where the BJP doesn't do well or where it doesn't sweep the state, that is where the India Alliance can actually play a crucial part. So, in Punjab, there are 13 seats. The Alliance won't go for all 13 seats with a common candidate. Instead, you will have AAP against the Congress. In Kerala, where the BJP is not a majority player, again, you will have the Communists against Congress. And the Communists have already announced that they won the seat of why not back from Rahul Gandhi. So, where does the alliance actually work? In Maharashtra, we are not hearing anything. In UP, we are not hearing anything. In Bihar, we are not Maharashtra. hearing anything. Bengal, Odisha, Chattis, Madhya Pradesh, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, the Congress party is struggling with infighting. Forget the alliance, Mr. Raman. Forget the alliance, Mr. Raman. Your party is collapsing under its own weight. You have not heard it. Where are the candidates list? Where is the candidates list, sir? Where is the candidates list? Is Rahul Gandhi fighting from Amiti? Is Rahul Gandhi fighting from Amiti? Is Priyanka Gandhi fighting from Raibareli? Is Priyanka Gandhi fighting from Raibareli? The elections are going to be just a week from now, sir. Okay, one second. One second, one second, please. One second, one second. No, no, one second. I want to... One final point. Okay, one final point. Ten seconds, ten seconds, yeah. Last six months, last six months, there have been a lot of rhetoric, a lot of jargon thrown about the lights. But when it comes to ground strategic vote transfer, common candidate, nothing has happened, nothing has moved. Okay. No, this idea that just because yeah, parties come together... One, one, second, one second, one second, one second, one uh, second. The idea that j parties just uh, come together and on the ground the votes of one party will transfer to another party's candidate, that entire myth has been busted, not least, of course, in the 2019 elections in the Lok Sabha, where the two biggest parties in Uttar Pradesh, SP and BSP, came together and you saw tr vote transfer of... One party going to the other, but you didn't see vote transfer of the second party going to the first. And I think that that whole myth has been completely busted. But Madhu Gaudiaski, again, even in Uttar Pradesh, so far what we've heard is leaks in the media saying SP is willing to give 11 seats. I think they went up to 15 seats. Nowhere has it been officially signed, sealed and delivered that these are the f X number of seats that Congress is fighting and these are the X number of seats that uh, Samajwadi Party is fighting. Even there... You have lost a small party like the RLD, even in Uttar Pradesh. Zaka, let, let me quickly, quickly give the previous uh, experience, UPA won, where the left parties have supported UPA government and we fought against left parties, CPM, CPI in Kerala and West Bengal, we came to power. So this is a successful practice of common minimum program and brought so many Right to Information Act, to Employment Guarantee Schemes, to Right to Education. Many schemes have been launched during UPA1 government. So there is no need to worry. Why the BJP so much worried about our in differences, seat bargaining, which is happening? It is happening with BJP in the Andhra Pradesh also. They are aligned, whether they are trying to align with the TDP or YSRCP, they are still working out on seat sharing. So these are the bargaining tactics that happens in politics. It is very common. It is our problem to deal with the SP in UP, Ahmadmi Party in Punjab and elsewhere. So BJP should be happy if you have not come to a conclusion. So let us deal with our own problem of, de 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 of dealing with our friendly parties and uh, seat sharing with work out. So the question here, what Mr. Modi has promised and what he has delivered in 10 years. He is still talking about Congress government of 10 years ago. He talks about Parivar. Yes, I am proud to be Gandhi Parivar family party rather than Godse Parivar family, which BJP clay takes proud on being claimed okay. to be a Godse Parivar. We are Dwayne proud respond. to be Gandhi Parivar family party. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know how ignorant you know the Congress party can be. Twenty-five crore people pulled out of multi-dimensional poverty in the last ten years. If that is not an achievement, you know, then nothing can be an achievement for the Congress party. Uh, infrastructure creation of an unprecedented level, whether it is a 70% increase in the stretch of highways, doubling the total airports, if that is not uh, an achievement, then nothing can be an achievement for the Congress party. But you know, let me come, the bottom line today is that these, this Indy alliance is a grotesque conglomeration of parties which have willingly decided so you, you are to are agreeing to your India government, friend, you are agreeing that you are India seen. government. Was, we so, have so, seen so, so, Mamta Banerjee. Mamta Banerjee was please. the first person 
Mamta Banerjee, it was not us. Mamta Banerjee was the first person to ridicule Congress and challenge them by saying that they cannot even win 40 seats. We have seen Akhilesh no, no. Yadav win rally but, but after Tuhin, rally Tuhin, in Madhya Pradesh. One second, one second. You know, when, 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 you, the Congress when you say Parivar say just Vaad, one no, no, when you say Parivar Vaad and every BJP member go rails and rants against the opposition for Parivar Vaad, in your first list, you've given a ticket to Basuri Swaraj, who is a late uh, a minister, Sus Sushma Swaraj's daughter. You've given a ticket to Dushan Singh, who is Vasundra Raj's no, no, son. Think, so, I mean, you guys are just as guilty of Parivar no, no, I think, you know, I think there are, there are yeah. some... No, 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 no. I think you've got it all wrong, Jaka. There are some journalists who cannot... Uh, That's you a know, double comprehend standard. What double is standard of the BJP. But I think you, you should be very India. clear. Parivar Vaad, let me, let me define it for you once and for all. Parivar Vaad is when by virtue of a certain leader holding a certain position, by virtue of your pedigree holding a certain position in the party, by default you become a natural claimant to that position. That is not the case with Basuri Swaraj or Dushan Singh. Basuri Swaraj has been very active with Delhi BJP for the last few years. She held up, she has an official position and she has been actively working on the ground. Okay. So I don't I mean, see where is the comparison. She is not claiming okay. to be a minister like Sushma Su 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 Swaraj. She is not Raman. claiming to be uh, no, no, my, you know, a party president. So, so, so Meenakshi Meenakshi Lekhi, what about Hajit Pawar? didn't perform. Why did you align with Hajit Pawar? No, Please no, explain. one second, one second, one at a time. Yeah, Dr. Uh, Sumant Raman. Yeah. No, no, my, my question was look, you replace four out of the five candidates uh, uh, in Delhi. Or what? What was? Is that an admission that they didn't perform? No, but parties Clearly can change their candidates. Reason, what right? is? No, I mean, no, last no, election. No, 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 one second, one, one second, 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 please, gentlemen, gentlemen, one second, Doctor Raman, Mr. Modi, from 20 years ago when he was Gujarat Chief Minister, this was part of an election strategy to change 15, 20, 30 percent of his candidates. Thereby, you cut local level anti-incumbency. It's always been the case. Look, what do you mean by local level anti-incumbency? It is Against basically the respective an admission. MLA or the MP. It is basically an admission that they did not perform. Why no. don't you say that? Can I you are coaching it in language local no. level anti-incumbency. No, no. There, is, there, is, a, there is a term called local level so anti-incumbency against individual MLAs or MPs. No, no, one second. No, what do you mean? In, in, mean in Uttar Pradesh, no, no, by this logic, in Uttar Pradesh, they have released 51 names. I think almost all of them are repeat candidates. So what are re No, no, what, is, what does that mean? That there is no anti-incumbency against any of them? No, it does not. It, these are election strategies, I'm, which is fair I'm enough. But all I am asking is... Yeah. Zaka, can I, can I answer Yeah, yeah, to in, no, yeah, no, to my in, point yeah. very clearly... To in, yeah, okay, to you in. You know, there are 20 crore plus members in BJP... And I think, you know, it should be appreciated. We are giving a chance to newcomers. What sort of mentality does Mr. Suman have where he, say, where he believes that, you know, the existing candidates should not be replaced? And who are these people to ask us questions? There is not a single safe seat for either Rahul Gandhi or Sonia Gandhi across the country. And these people should be asking us questions. No, no, Sonia Gandhi has gone to the Rajya Sabha. I don't think she's looking for a Lok Sabha safe joined, seat, as you say. Joined, no, because she did not find, she did not find a single yesterday, safe constituency a across the country. She no, will no. soon also go to the visitor's gallery. Ost ostensibly for health no, no, reasons, but no, we'll, no, leave we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. Daka, I... B.B. Patil, who joined BJP three days ago, please ask Mr. Madhu Yashki. He has got a ticket now. He joined from the BRS three days back. Yep. Yeah, so he where, got where the ticket, nobody yes. Nobody deserving in Zahirabad to get a ticket from the BJP there? Nobody who's worked for the BJP? Come on. Everything is strategy if it is done by BJP. Everything is bungling okay. or opportunism if done well, uh, as they say, uh, it's because Simply. of electoral Very success or the lack of it. If there is electoral success, it will be considered strategy. But we'll see how the story plays out. It's for the moment, thank you very much to all our guests. Uh, uh, this whole narrative-defining attempt by the BJP and by the Prime Minister to say that uh, the entire country, Pura Bharat Mera Parivar hai, and all the BJP functionaries adding Modi ka Parivar to their, to their social media handles, we'll see if that resonates with uh, a large majority of voters. What